We all know the times that we're living in. That's the reason this year's gathering theme, the power of truth, is so important. Quakers have sometimes called themselves friends of the truth. And while that phrase has particular theological context, being friends of the truth in this age calls us to defend universal human dignity through a spiritually grounded witness. Telling the truth and living in integrity is witness. Strong, respectful, principled dialogue that builds bridges and heals wounds is witness. Modeling being in relationships with people across our differences is witness. During the U.S. Civil Rights Movement, principled witness didn't end racism in America. However, it changed and transformed hearts and real progress was made that affirmed the dignity and the worth of all people. I'm sure it was not easy to meet hatred with dignity and truth. Yet many rose to that challenge and brought us closer to the world as we know it can be. If we believe in the worth and dignity of all human beings, then the time is now to witness for truth by fostering principled dialogue and helping people live respectfully with one another despite our differences. Parker Palmer once said, the highest form of love is the love that allows for intimacy without the annihilation of difference. So be patterns and examples, friends. People are watching. People can be moved. Meet hate not with hate. Meet hate with the power that comes from truth grounded in love. Martin Luther King once said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Remember that the universe bends towards justice because of what we choose to do. The divine spirit calls us to be just. It calls us to speak truth. So as we go through this week together, please open yourself to the power of truth. Be present to one another. Be kind to one another. Listen for the still small voice that liberates us to experience that which is larger than ourselves, the spiritual reality that affirms our oneness while celebrating the kaleidoscopic diversity of our world. By telling the truth, we can free ourselves and others from those people who seek power by preaching lies, separation, alienation, and fear. Real power Real liberation rests in the truth of our interdependence, in the reality that God loves everyone and calls us to do the same.